all right in this short video I'll, I'll tell show you how you can easily expand or bring focus to to a particular pin uh, a pin in front of you okay you, you see four pins are there on the screen okay and containing different information okay at any moment of time you want to focus on one particular thing okay one particular for that you need to bring up one of them in front of others that means focus large and cover the full screen so other two will go in the back once you are done you can bring back this particular structure with a four pin or whatever the pin you have bring back to this structure you understood the basic idea is to get any one of the pin entirely capture the screen and come in front to work on it okay for this has to happen I have bounded a key with control C F in my dot Emacs file if I pr if I see the focus in on particular pin right if I am to bring up this particular frame in front what I have to do control C and F see it hide the other three pin okay it brings up the particular frame I am interested to work on at this very moment. once I am done with it I again press control C F see it brings back the old pin structure simple one single key bounded to it's a toggling key control C F so if I go to any other pin say I'm on depth right if I want to bring it up just control C F see it is full screen now other three has been hidden okay once I'm done with it control C F I go back to where I was very easy very convenient let me show you the config behind this in my dot emacs file this is the code it says toggle maximize buffer okay this is the code and it has been bounded to control cf as simple as that it's just a four line of lips code which will do the stuff for you I know you can you can expand the pen with control X one like that way but that's a different way but this is a more convenient way of getting get the focus of a one particular pin for the time being so your actual structure of other pin will remain behind the scene so whenever you need it you just invoke it with the press a single case pr key press it's super convenient and it's just a tiny bit of code you need to add to your dot emacs file my dot emacs file is in github you can check it out it should be there okay these are just five six lines of code lips code which will which will bring you this facility okay i hope this will help someone